Hi there to all my flower friends out there in social media land. This is Wanda with Fox Hollow Peonies in Interior, Alaska. Saying hello on this beautiful spring, for us, spring day. Uh, if you are just starting to check in with us, uh, I was a retired, I'm a retired teacher slash school counselor. I spent 33 years teaching and being a school counselor here in Alaska, in the Alaska school system. And uh, my husband, Milt, he uh, spent 20 some years in law enforcement here in Alaska and retired a little while back. And now he works as a teamster on a small Air Force base that's located just about 20 miles down the road from us here. And he also works doing all the honeydews and all the fix-its and all the uh, finagling, <laughs> building things that needs to be done here on the farm. And those of you who are farmers know that there is always something that needs to be fixed or um, built to make the system run smoother here. So yesterday, uh, oh, we started our peony farm, by the way, in 2010. And uh, we have about 5,000 peony plants and then about five years ago, I started growing other cut flowers so that I would have other flowers to add to peonies for bouquets selling locally here in interior Alaska. So I can use uh, the peonies that might be just a little bit too open to ship out to the States. And we do ship peonies out for weddings and events July through early September. And we also sell peonies and bouquets locally here I have a summer CSA bouquet subscription and just sell all over interior Alaska here for people wanting peony bouquets. So that's what I do. And yesterday I showed you our water, um, rainwater system that we have on the garage end of our house. That's the side of our property where my I grow all the other cut flowers. And we have a system of gutters that collects all the rainwater. And right now it's catching all the melting snow. And we store it in a big tank and in some rain barrels to use for watering uh, my uh, cut flower gardens. And I mentioned yesterday that uh, regenerative farming uh, studies have shown that rainwater or melted snow water is absolutely one of the best things you can use to water your plants and uh, indoor or outdoors because it doesn't have all the chemicals in it that your system in your house might have or your city water or even your well. Right here we have very hard water. It's got lots of minerals in it and it really isn't the best thing to water all of our plants with. So we came up, my husband came up with these great systems where we are able to get a lot of the water that comes off of the roof of our house. So today I wanna to show you the system that is on the other side of our house, which is the peony field side. And um, one of the things we learned early on was that our little old house well cannot keep up with watering 5,000 peony plants, especially in July. In July, we get really hot weather and it's in the 80s and it hardly rains in July. So we needed a system to water our peony field and keep it well watered in July uh, and without having to use our house well. So my husband and uh, gutter company in Fairbanks worked together, came up with this really awesome system that we use to collect water off of our roof. So this is the system that's on this end of our house. <clears throat> and all the gutters on this end of the house are all tied together and they all empty into this little uh, pipe that comes out and goes into this 2,500 gallon tank. And you can see here, there's another pipe coming out. Well, what we also do is a friend of ours has a big pond on his property and he graciously allows us to go and uh, collect uh, pond water from his pond. It's really great water because it's got fish in there and ducks and geese and they're all pooping in the water and so it's really great water. So that little pipe is uh, used for, we have a water hog which is a water tank on wheels that we pull over there 
and we throw a little pump in the pond and pump the water in the tank and then we pull up and uh, run a hose um get my finger going right here we run a hose from the water tank and we can fill that with uh, water as well. Now you'd be amazed at how much water, rainwater, you can actually collect off of a roof. And we have these thunderstorms that come through usually uh, in late June or July. And that actually will fill that black tank in about an hour if there's a big thunderstorm going on. And so we were uh, frustrated at losing a lot of the water then eventually out of the top of that tank so we came up with the bright idea to buy a big old swimming pool and that's over there so it's just a freestanding swimming pool that we bought at uh, costco and so my husband uh, ran a pipe out the top and down and it goes underground over to the swimming pool and up in that end so when the big tank here overflows we can collect the extra water in the swimming pool and so that gives us lots of great water to water our field with. This right here is a fertigation tank. And so what we do is we put uh, fertilizer in, we fill it with water, put water soluble fertilizer in. The water comes out of the big tank and goes up and goes across. There's a little system called a mozzie that you can buy. And you can buy that. Uh, we bought ours at a company called Dripworks. Basically, it sucks a certain amount of the fertilized water up into the uh, water from the tank, and then it goes over, and then it goes down underground, and then it goes all the way out to our peony field. There's our big peony field out there. So the water goes underground, or the pipes go underground. We have underground three inch pipe, two or three inch pipes along our, the front of our rows and little elbows that come up out of the ground. And then we've got a uh, drip line with emitters and every little elbow has a valve on it so that we can shut off a row if it gets a hole and we need to fix it. So this is pretty cool. Uh, good way for us to catch all the water off of our roof that was just being wasted. And it's really good for the plants. <clears throat> Uh, most states have a water conservation society or office and they used to when we were doing this anyways they actually had grants that you can apply for it was just a couple thousand dollars but it really helps uh, getting a grant to uh, pay help pay for getting a water catchment system going like I said you'd be amazed at how much water you can gather off of just a little roof so if you have any building on your property that has a roof and that you can put some gutters on and get a little water catchment system going, even just a little, if you build a little, uh, a little shed by your flower field and it even be an open sided shed that has a, build a little slanted roof to store your, your uh, lawn uh, mower or your farm tools under, just put a little gutter on that and put it into a rain barrel and you'll be amazed at how much water, uh, rainwater you can catch doing that. And at home, you know, setting out buckets, if you're a home gardener, set out buckets and, and things like that to catch the rainwater because it's much better to water your plants, indoor and outdoor plants, with God's great rainwater <laughs> instead of water from your faucet. So I just wanted to show you that today. Like I said, it just took a little bit of my, my smart husband and some gutter guys putting their heads together and coming up with this system. And it's a great way for us to water the plants on our farm and uh, not have to uh, wear out our house well, trying to get it, uh, keep it all watered. So uh, yeah, it's melting finally here. We had record snows this winter, but you can see it's finally melting. Here's one of my raised flower beds here, which has finally the snow. There's my sweet pea fence. And so I'm gonna roll out some dark landscape fabric on there. Um, what it does is it heats up the soil underneath and gets the soil nice and warm, the sun shining on it. And so that will get my soil nice and warmed up. So hopefully in a couple weeks, uh, I can uh, start transplanting some of my babies out there. So that's something good to do if you have soil 
and you live in a cold area and you want to get it warmed up faster so you get some black or dark landscape fabric and spread out on there and then uh take it back up of course and we don't leave it down and then you can plant your babies into soil that has warmed up quite a bit faster than normal so again thank you so much for joining me today if you don't know, uh, we do ship our flowers, peonies, out to the States for weddings and events July through um, early September. A minimum order is uh, two dozen stems. And we do have a website, www.foxhollowpeonies.com. I will be updating that with uh, numbers, updated numbers for our varieties here in the next week. And it will be open for ordering in the first part of May. So if you know you're having a wedding or event or a friend of yours is getting married and wants peonies for their wedding, uh, just give us a shout and we'd love to ship some out to you and uh, make that day special with our beautiful Alaska peonies kissed by the midnight sun. We'll catch you next time here from Fox Hollow. Cheers.